in six months, you haven't paid it out. It's my house. It is his house, but the man inside who won't pay rent keeps him from using it. Likewise, the owner of this house left town for three weeks only to return and find... There were cars in the driveway and people inside. When he confronted them, they said... No, we're living here. We have a lease. The squatters didn't have a lease. But today, squatters often claim they do, go to a house and take it over. Bizarrely, laws favor the squatter. In New York State, you cannot legally lock a squatter out of your home or turn off utilities. And once a squatter is there for 30 days, they are classified as a tenant. Is there anything a homeowner can do about it? Well, Flash Shelton came up with a clever idea. This man is on a mission to take back his parents' house after he says squatters moved in. I just felt like, uh, you know, if they can take a house, I can take a house. This was his mom's house. She left it briefly after his dad passed away. When squatters took over the house, Shelton did what I would have done. I called law enforcement, and there was nothing they could do. Why can't the cops evict somebody? Because the crazy laws don't allow them to. So Shelton came up with this bizarre solution. I realized I could go in as the squatter myself, gain possession of the property. Because the law so favors squatters, he became a squatter. When the home invaders left for a few hours, Shelton slipped into the house and changed the locks. I had them locked out before they even knew that somebody wanted them out. The squatter comes back, finds the door locked, screams, says, I have a right to be there, and you just don't let him in? I don't let him in. After that work, Shelton started SquatterHunters.com, a business that tries to help others get their houses back. In Los Angeles, he confronted the man who took over this house. He answered an ad to rent a room. And before he was accepted to rent the room, he walked in with a backpack and he refused to leave. I decide to go do a squatter intervention and I show up with cameras and surprise him in the driveway. I understand you've been squatting at this residence? No. No? No, I have a lease. You have a lease? Huh? Okay. But he soon admitted. And you have a lease? No, she didn't want to give me a lease. This squatter is Adam Fleischman. He was rich once. My good friend Adam Fleischman at Umami, how are you, Adam? Here he is being interviewed about starting the Umami Burger restaurant chain. This was a successful guy who ran restaurants, started restaurants. Yeah, I've seen video clips of him on TV. He was, you know, he was kind of a little famous on his own. So it, it made no sense. We tried to reach Fleischman without success. What are you hoping to gain here? I'm not trying to gain anything. I'm a victim here. How is he a victim? The video shows him just so entitled and it just really couldn't make any sense out of what he was saying. The city still protects tenants whether they get a lease or not. <laughs> you didn't know that? I'm, I'm laughing because it's, 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 regulations. it's so arrogant. Just the words and the arrogance. The squatter even called the police. This wasn't his house. He has no legal right to be there. So he felt that since he had possession of the house, which is true, that he had the right to call law enforcement and have me removed. And where does he hear this, that he has this right to squat? The city was telling him this. The LA City Council approved a package of new policies Friday aimed at protecting tenants. City politicians are so eager to favor tenants, they protect squatters. But now Shelton was a squatter too one who threatened to bring his friends. We'll be here to help you leave. More than Only then did Adam Fleischman get a mover and leave. People think of these people as homeless, destitute. They are not homeless people. They're criminals. They're people that are taking advantage of the system. And no, you're harassing me. I have a you're lease. harassing me. I have a lease for this property. This woman claimed to be a caretaker for the elderly owner of this house, but the owner wanted the woman out. She gave Shelton a lease. I have a lease for this property. I don't give a f the f guy. You yeah. haven't introduced your f yourself to me. I don't even know what the f you look like. I've left you ain't gonna be sneaking up on me in the middle I've of the f night. Notices. You ain't gonna be sneaking up on me in the middle of the f night. One day when she was out, Shelton went into the house and changed the locks. But the squatter is still there? Still there, climbing through the window because she doesn't have access to the main house. So she's still there for how many months? She's been there for two years. Two years? Now someone started a GoFundMe page to help the elderly homeowner. Once she finds a new residence, then you and maybe your six friends will move in. And that works? 
that will work. How do you know? Because she'll have to leave. And once I take possession, then she'll have to fight in court to try to get back in. And most likely, she won't do that. You ever worry about the squatter attacking you? Well, I don't go in anymore by myself. You're trespassing Good. and no, you're because... harassing me. How do the squatters manage to think of themselves as victims? Landlords are social parasites. They provide no social value. Maybe squatters listen to people like this new school professor a self-described Marxist who calls landlords parasites. They are so focused on extracting money that they perceive people's basic need for a shelter as an opportunity to generate substantial profits. They can make a profit without having to do very much, if any, work. This socialist on TikTok has more than a million followers. She says landlords are granted and guaranteed forever incomes without actually having to put in any labor. They don't put in labor? This house is sold! Who do they think buys the land? Pays lawyers to decipher the excessive regulations? Hires architects, carpenters, plumbers, electricians? Pays the taxes and manages the property? They should make an income because they're actually helping. But city politicians now win elections trashing landlords. And laws are so anti-landlord that homeowners sometimes get arrested if they change locks to get a squatter out arrested for unlawful eviction. This woman had come into the house she owned and confronted squatters. You shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. She locked the squatter out, but he broke back in. You broke through the front door. Officer. The squatter then called the police, and the police told the owner to leave. So why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because technically he can't be kicked out. We need to go to court. Then she got arrested because this squatter knew the magic words to say to police. I have a lease. But when this reporter said, I would, I would like to see it. He didn't show him a lease. This, this is a bill. Is Law enforcement can't even ask for the lease because they're not allowed to decipher if it's a real lease or not. You should know how the law works. I do know how it there's, works. There's rules to the as you gotta go to court and send me to civil court. Some homeowners just throw up their hands, give up. Homeowners can't afford this. So at some point they're making the decision if it's worth it to even fight or just walk away from their homes. And then the squatter wins. It is infuriating. I'm glad people like Flash Shelton fight back. If you find this infuriating too, please share this video.